Well, um, unfortunately, I think our bishops are using uh, contraception for political purposes. First of all, I, I think, uh, I mean, well, obviously the bishops know, and I think uh, our viewers know uh, that uh, Catholics, by and large, do not believe in contraception in artificial means of contraception. They do believe in contraception. Um, but the, the traditional stance of the Catholic uh, Church about no artificial means of contraception, 99% of Catholics do not um, believe that or follow that. Um, and it is, it is based on such archaic notions of sexuality. Um, at any rate, I, th I think our bishops are using this argument uh, uh, um, for political purposes against the Obama administration. Um, uh, unfortunately, I think they are in, in line with the Republican uh, Party. And um, they are using this uh, to argue that uh, the Catholic Church's religious freedom is under attack um, with the health care and making contraception part of being covered by, by um, the Affordable Health Care Act. Um, my view is that um, employers, whoever the employer is, should, whether it's a Catholic employer, or, you know, whoever the employer is, um, should not interfere with the benefits that are given to employees, whether the benefit be a health benefit or whether the benefit be the salary benefit. I mean, the, the bishops are saying that they do not want to uh, uh, pay for the health care if it includes contraception. Well, what then are employees who work in Catholic institutions to do? They will use their own money to um, get uh, health care that includes or to get some kind of co um, contraceptive health care coverage. Um, so they're going to use their salary. Well, who's paying their salary? The Catholic institution. So there's no way that, and I'll call it Catholic money, but money from Catholic institutions would, will, will not be used for contraception purposes if the person wants or needs that. So basically what our bishops are trying to do is control how the employees use their benefits. And um, that is a violation of religious liberty. It's a violation of the individual's religious liberty, not the institution's religious liberty. The institution has an obligation to, in justice to provide benefits for the employees. As I said, whether those benefits be salary benefits, health care benefits, um, pension benefits, whatever the benefits we decide be the benefits should be. And the um, obligation of the employer is not to interfere with how the employees use those benefits. That is the religious right guaranteed to the individual.